Hello and welcome back to Let's YOLO Oblivion. This is episode 5, I believe, and we just uh, took care of this Khajiit who tried to kill us. Very rude of him. Um, and we're now on our way to Coral, or what's it called? Choral? Coral? Not entirely sure how to pronounce that, but we're going there. Thar. Night Eye activated. Gonna grab some plants on the way. If I find any. Yep. Got some lavender. Oh. I thought those were mushrooms of some kind, but nope. So, what was I talking about last time? Khajiit Racial Powers. So here, Night Eye, which I have a mod, which makes it toggle, so I don't have to turn it back on every 30 seconds. Uh... about how... What is this place? It's not where I'm going. Uh, it's some farm or something. Odil Farm. Okay, so I guess technically this somehow doesn't count as stealing. Don't know. Well, there have been some laws. Yeah, okay, so. Hmm. This isn't stealing. even though they're totally not my crops. Not sure how that works out in Cyrodiilic Law, but... Let's go with it. Because... Alchemy. Oh, anyway. Khajiit Racial Powers. I have Knight. I have fear. The second one is... Like the first one, just in a, in a more military context, it means your entire army has... Oh, when I ran out of... I, uh, your, your entire army has uh, night vision goggles, basically. The second one means they can also demoralize the enemy quite easily just by just the whole oh, carrot scary eye thing. You get a whole bunch of Khajiit use that at once. Suddenly entire most of the people in uh, the army just freak out all at once can't really be good for so I don't know if I'm reducing the weight I'm carrying or increasing it let's see okay yeah 
potions because you, you use multiple ingredients to make one potion should really be decreasing the weight that's just logic gotta make more yeah I've just always liked Khajiit I just think they're interesting probably gonna level up uh, yeah alchemy I did make as one of my so I really need to plan this whole leveling up thing a little bit better Yeah, so, let's see here. Gotta be a better way to do this. But nope. <coughs> I actually probably dropped enough weight. Just take the remaining carrots. Let's be on our way. Still not sure why that doesn't actually count as stealing. Either... It was supposed to, but for some reason the plants were flagged. But I don't think so. So... I guess there's something in Cyrodiil Law that if you're a farmer, you don't get to harvest all your crops. You have to leave. Let's see here, I think there's something actually uh, from the Bible, like if you're a land-owning farmer, you can't harvest the windfall, you're supposed to leave it out in your fields for the poor. Go ahead and look that up. Of course, I'm not really poor, so that should probably still count as stealing. But, yeah. And I'm just gonna I turn it into potion and I'm gonna sell it off. Which, so, not really the purpose of such a law enriching my uh, yep to Joffrey an unfortunate name to choose and, and I know the game was first but still an unfortunate name I think it's the store. Yeah. My compass point is pointing me. Pointing me. Just go ahead and turn our night eye off because there's going to be light in here. Expert armors can give 100 to Excuse me. Can I help you? 
Are you looking for Prior Maverell or Joffrey? I must speak to Joffrey. So they've got this. I'll look that up too. I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. Okay. It must be important. Um, not sure how you know that. I guess he's just an excellent judge of character. And he's not actually asleep, so... Not such a good judge of character. Except he kind of is. Thief of Virtue, Manual of Spellcraft, On Moral Wind, Biography of Baron Zaya, Brief History of... So, yeah. Oh, I should probably talk to you. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? The Emperor has... <coughs> the Emperor sent this one to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? He gave... Jodar, the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? So, this is an action, but it's not in the brackets like the last action was. As unlikely as your story <coughs> sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who... who... <coughs> this one wonders, who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words... Close shut the jaws of Oblivion certainly suggests that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Yeah. We, we know him as, uh, the Jakajit. Because he's just a big destructive kitten. How can how can okay, yeah I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get this Khajiit accent, and I'm not gonna give up. But how can <coughs> Oblivion threaten us then? I'm not sure. Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned. He uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. So, about about the dragon fires. I mentioned in, I think, last episode, I was looking for a broadsheet in the... Black Horse Courier about how the dragon fires look fine. Apparently, that's not the Oblivion game I was thinking about. There's a webcomic called Prequel, and uh, that's where that was. Anyway, <clears throat> the Emperor asked this one to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. You know, his name, Joffrey, and to keep...
coming back to Game of Thrones on that one, but I can't help but think if Uriel had been more like Robert Baratheon, this uh, whole situation would have been solved a whole lot sooner. <laughs> oh, oh, you need you need one of my sons? Uh, just just grab someone off the street. He'll probably, you know, grab a. Someone under 20 off the street. He'll probably be a son of mine. Where can I... F where can this one find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited... But I will help in any way I can. Can I have a trained blade person help me find him? Uh, let's let's start asking about stuff. What is the amulet of kings? This one wonders. It will be safest here with me. Or where is it? When Sorry. you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. What sort of assistance could you provide this one? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. No, I'm not done talking Your to you. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. Yes, but I... I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Prior Mabrel and Brother Piner may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it if you haven't already. What of Barris? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear I he will take the that. Emperor's death particularly hard. You mentioned the dragon fires? The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. Yeah, I do have alchemy as a primary stat. I think. I really need to... <laughs> what is the Elder Council up to? The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. If you're, th if you're an arm of the Emperor's will, you are an arm of the government. Just a specific branch. What can you tell me of Martin? He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavaj. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. And Merun's Jacques The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaeger Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. And a yes, blade. Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. So, no trained blade to accompany me. Got it. Um... Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Oh, he's going to go unlock the chest. And... I really need to keep, tra keep track of the time better. Um, let's go ahead and call this the end of episode four or five 
I think five of Let's YOLO Oblivion. And as always, you can see me in the next video. Bye bye. Oh. I just quick saved instead of turning the <laughs> instead of turning the uh recording off.